In this video, we're going to look at some basic cuts. So when thinking about uh, what cut you're going to use, you really want to ask yourself, what's the application for the product that I'm using? So you might put a little more effort into something that's being used for a garnish on top of a plate than a vegetable that's going into a chowder. So we really want to think again about that application that we're using and then match our cuts accordingly. Now, regardless of what the application is, something that's going to be really important is that all of our cuts are the same size. So when we want those real precision cuts, we're concerned that they're going to be both the same size and the same shape. But with less precise cuts, we don't care so much about that same shape as much as we do about that same size. Now, why would we want those uh, less precise cuts to be the same size? Because the cooking times are uh, going to be similar. So if, if a piece of potato is much bigger than another, it's going to cook slower. So for that continuity so that everything cooks at the same time, uh, we want those cuts to be the same size. So if I was going to use this potato uh, in a chowder that I was making, in a soup that I was making, right, I would want our cuts to be approximately the same size, even though I may not be as worried that they're the same shape. So I wouldn't worry about squaring up my potato. I wouldn't worry that some are gonna be a little bit round and some are gonna be a little pointy and some are gonna be perfect squares. I'm gonna focus more on the fact that I want them all to be roughly the same size, even though this one's a little bit more of a square, this one's a little bit cattywampus, and this one's a little bit of a triangle. They're all approximately the same size, so they're gonna cook uh, at a similar pace. Now, maybe I'm gonna use my next potato uh, for a more precise application, right? Maybe I'm going to make, um, you know, some little sauteed potatoes that are going to go on this fine dining plate. And I'm really concerned uh, that they're all the same uh, shape as well as the same size. Or maybe I'm doing some cuts um, of a different vegetable or something for a garnish. And again, I'm really gonna wanna focus on the fact that they're both the same size and the same shape. So what I'd wanna do is I would wanna start by kind of squaring up whatever product I was using. Okay. So our potato is kind of this round, bumpy uh, product. So I wanna go ahead and cut off my sides and start with a nice square. Uh, now, as you can see, this is pretty wasteful. You can see how much of this potato we've had to cut off to get to this nice kind of square piece here. Um, so in a restaurant, uh, we wouldn't want to throw these away. Um, we would save these maybe for mashed potato scraps or maybe cut these uh, for, you know, our, our soup cuts, uh, you know, make mashed potatoes turn into potato croquets, whatever it may be. Um, we wouldn't necessarily waste this, but we're not going to use it uh, at the time being to get these precise cuts, okay? So from here, if I wanted to do, we'll say, uh, julienne, Okay. What I want to do is I want to line up my knife, and you can see I'm kind of taking a second here to kind of line up my blade. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the tip of my knife down on my board and then follow straight down through. Okay. And you can see when you look at this cut that it's the same uh, width all the way across. It doesn't kind of create a, a triangle as you go through. Okay. You'll notice something that I did here is... I kind of lined up my cut, I put the tip down, and you see how my elbow is stuck out from my body right now? It's not up close, it's kind of stuck out. This is something that helps when we go straight down, get that nice straight cut that we're looking for, as opposed, so I line up my knife. Can you see how this, when I had my arm in, I got that kind of more angled cut 
whereas this was consistent all the way through. This is what I'm looking for uh, in my nice, uh, for my nice Julienne cuts. So from here, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these just into my Julienne, and again, you saw how quickly before I cut the, the pieces that I said were gonna be for chowder, whereas for my Julienne, maybe I line it up, just take another extra second to line it up so I get those really nice, precise cuts that I'm gonna use for garnish. So you can see here on my Juliennes how I have these perfect little match sticks, right? They're these all extremely consistent size and shape. You can see as you go down them. Whereas with my chowder, even though they're all the same, you know, approximately the same size, they're all gonna cook about the same rate. They're very um, inconsistent in shape, just different applications depending on the, uh, the application that it's going to be used for. Let's review. Always match the consistency of your cut to the final application of the product being used. Always observe proper knife handling when making your cuts. And finally, when making your precision cuts, it's often helpful to stick out your elbow uh, to help get that nice straight cut down.